So most people just come in because they feel a little short of breath and uh, you know if you're a family doctor you have a lot of people coming in to see you because they feel short of breath and so it's really difficult to tease out just by looking at somebody that they have pulmonary hypertension which is an uncommon condition compared to more common conditions and even deconditioning just being out of shape which is uh, probably a, a much more common problem that uh, most uh, North Americans face these days. Um, but I think you know prog progression particularly in a young person uh, which is out of character for them uh, you have to pay attention to and do the right tests uh, we often uh, see people being prescribed inhalers or puffers to relieve asthma without formally testing for the presence of asthma uh, we recognize the importance of making the right diagnosis and using the right treatment so doing breathing tests if you don't find asthma uh, then look at something else and then as you work your way through the possibilities, consider doing an echocardiogram, uh, maybe not looking for pulmonary hypertension, but seeing if they have a, a heart-related cause for their difficulty breathing. And by doing that as well, you can investigate the possibility of them having pulmonary hypertension potentially as a cause for why they feel short of breath.